We're going to start with Sheru. Uh, and Josh, I'm keen to hear your thoughts on, well, there's two drivers, Francesco Pizzi and Lazo Tote, who were there all year. And then there were a bunch of drivers who weren't there all year. Um, Ayrton Simmons, David Schumacher, Lerim Zendeli, Zdenek Chauvinek, Christian Mansell, Alessandro Famo Laro. Whew. I mean, we got one point out of it. Pizzi got a point early in the season. But apart from that, not a particularly memorable year for the team or any of the drivers. Your thoughts on Sheru in 2022? That was so anonymous. Like, it just... It was, it was just like you. It was they were easily distinguishable because they were the red team at the back of the grid. Um, their their drivers, um, Laszlo Tot. Is that how you pronounce this? Well, we'll get we'll get we've got a Hungarian here. Uh, Michael, um, Michael, who's on mute? I am on mute. Uh, it's Laszlo Tot, but in Hungary, you flip the order, so surname goes first and then given name. So Tot Laszlo. Tot. Tot Laszlo, right. um, <laughs> the most common right. surname and given name according to Forebears. So he is basically just pick the first name out of the, the hat on the birth certificate and you've got him. Well, I don't worry about the pronunciation, Josh. I'm sure you'll offend Hungary in the, the following words anyway, apart from pronunciation. Well, I offend Hungary by saying potentially their best driver ever was Chanuk Masani. Um, <laughs> but nah, like he was, um, there's no way to, no nice way to put it. He was down the back of the grid. And a fair amount of that probably was down to him, you know? Like, Pitsy was definitely better than him this year, but like that's not a very high bar to compare yourself to. Like, there wasn't a lot to take out of the season from that team. Because even when they bought an established drivers, at least in Formula 3, um, no... Anton Simmons, David Schumacher, nothing really seemed to work. Um, so they were sort of sort of on a hiding to nothing. Pizzi obviously getting the point, which is great. But yeah, apart from that, like there's not a lot of good to take from the season, apart from them completely just you know, acting like acting like a dying Formula One team in the 90s by shifting drivers every round. Um, although Chauvinek. I'm looking at his current um, racing schedule. I'm like, I've seen this before. He's done like the opening rounds effectively of Formula 3, so only only one or two rounds of Formula 3, but he's been focusing on the Formula class and the Boss GP series. Now, where have I seen this done before? Like, anyone know the history of someone who did like a round or two of Formula 3? Michael is nodding. to focus... Focus on the formula class of Boss GP. Michael knows who I'm talking about here. Like, <laughs> all I'm saying is we've seen someone do this before. And then the next year they went to Formula 2. And we got the most legendary year of Formula 2. Uh, le- legendary Formula 2 career of all time. <laughs> Effectively the one that made my channel. But yeah, overall, Sharu's meh that's just basically it